recently an Italian physicist addressing a, a group of female um, physicists declared that physics was the work of men and you know and I think one thing I'm, I'm pleased about in my book is that there are several female characters who uh, their work has probably not been appreciated until recently and also it, I think some of the things I've written about highlight just how difficult it, it um, was for a woman that was interested in science you know it certainly wasn't a play, level playing field and one of the characters is um, Cecilia Payne who went to Cambridge in about 1920 to study botany I think and she went to a lecture of Arthur Eddington who'd recently come back from an eclipse expedition where he tested Einstein's theory of general relativity and she was so inspired by the talk that she decided to study astronomy. So she did, she did her courses and completed the subjects and um, completed her degree except that Cambridge University didn't give degrees to women until 1948 so although she'd done the equivalent of what all the men had done, she wasn't given a degree. So she decided that she had to go to America if she was going to study any further. So she got a scholarship to Harvard where she did a PhD. And her PhD was described as the greatest PhD ever in astronomy. And she actually managed to work out what the sun and stars are made of. Prior to her PhD, astronomers had assumed that the composition of the Sun was similar to the composition of the Earth. But in fact, the Sun is virtually all hydrogen and helium with only traces of the other elements. And so this was a critical breakthrough in astronomy because if you're going to work out how stars work, how nuclear fusion processes work, you need to know what the stars are made of. But even so, um, Cecilia Payne, throughout her career, did important advances in various areas of astronomy but she didn't obtain a professorship at Harvard until about 1956 so this is like 30 odd years later towards the end of her career so even in America she was really held back simply because she was a woman.